In this video, we'll show you how to use the Brookfield DVE viscometer. And the first thing you need to do is make sure that it is level. So leveling bubble window here at the top. And to adjust it to level, use the knobs, screw knobs of the base of the stand. To adjust the height, use this knob here, but do not increase the stand off, uh, off the top here. Don't use this knob. This knob holds the meter onto the stand. When you're ready, make sure you're plugged into an appropriate power source and turn on the power button. Turn it on to the one position there. first part of our lab, we're going to use the visc viscometer in this setup with a, a spindle guard attached. And we need to choose the appropriate size spindle for our material. And there's a table in your handout that says um, which spindle to use for which type of material. As you can see we have larger radius spindles and small radius spindles and disc type spindles. Each spindle has a code and we can program in the code by switching to spindle and selecting. Here's the spindle number. This is spindle 63. So we dial up to our spindle number. To install the spindle, these are reverse reverse threaded. So Left, lefty, tidy. It's reversed the normal way. This shaft from the viscometer has the spring that's going to do the sensitive measurement. So to relieve the pressure from the spring, you push up gently with one hand and then screw it together with the other hand going left to screw. Okay, so now our spindle is in position, and we're going to immerse this into our liquid so that the liquid is up to this level of the groove in the spindle shaft. So we're going to use a uh, tall form beaker, add enough liquid, and to help adjust the height, we have a uh, lab jack as well as raising and lowering the discometer. And we want to make sure that there's no bubbles trapped underneath the disc of the spindle. No air bubbles. We can check and make sure there's no air bubbles trapped on under the spindle. And we have it up to the groove in the spindle shaft, and so now we're ready to turn it turn on and make the measurement. But before, right before we do that though, we want to make sure that we have the right speed selected. So we switch to speed, here's the speed display, and we can go from, I believe it's 0.1 to 100 uh, rotations per minute RPM. You see that the measurement is uh, blinking because it, we just turned it on, so it, it doesn't have any measurement yet. It stores the previous measurement once, once it does a measurement. So let's go ahead and turn on the motor. And the spindle will, will move, and after it moves around, a uh, measurement is taken four times a revolution. It needs to revolve at least one time to get uh, four readings that are then averaged to give you a signal here. And um, so we're at about 120 set of poise, or 0% of, of the range of the viscosity. And so this is blinking saying the measurement is under range. We have chosen the wrong spindle for this material. Since it's under range, that means we need to go either go faster or get a larger spindle to measure this liquid viscosity. 